triple integral having the integrand log of z and for this we need to first integrate with respect to z and then with respect to x and finally with respect to y. So let's start with the solution. So first of all we have to calculate the innermost integral that is this one. We will integrate this integrand with respect to z. Let me start integrating this innermost integral first. The limits are from 1 to e the power x log of z dz. And I'm going to put this value over here. So this is equal to can I write log of z as log of z into 1. And now integrating this by parts. So let's suppose that this is your first function log of z and then the integration of second. The limits are from 1 to e the power x minus integral sign. The derivative of first function, this is your first function. That is 1 over z into integration of this second function. That is z dz. So when you put this limit, you get log of e d power x into e d power x minus because log of 1 is 0. So I'm not writing this. So this will become 1 e d power x integral 1 dz. That will cancel out z and z. So this is e d power x log of e d power x minus. So the integration of 1 is z. The limits from 1 to e d power x. So this is equal to e d power x log of e d power x minus. This is e d power x and then this will become positive 1. So I am putting this value over here. So I got the integral as from 1 to e and from 1 to log of y and putting the value as this is if you notice here log of e d power x is nothing but x. So can I write this as e d power x into x minus e d power x plus 1. Taking e d power x common so I get x minus 1 plus 1. So I'm writing this here. So this is x minus 1 e d power x plus 1. So this is dx dy. Now I have to integrate this integrand with respect to x. So again I'm solving this. So 1 to log of y x minus 1 e d power x plus 1 dx. And now I'm going to separate this 1 to log of y x minus 1 e d power x plus 1 to log of y 1 sorry this is dx and dx. So again I am going to use the method of integration by parts and taking this x minus 1 to be your first function and e the power x to be the second function. 
So this is first function integration of second minus integral sine derivative of first function that is 1 integration of second that is e d power x dx plus so integration for 1 is x from 1 to log y so this is equal to just putting the limits this is log of y minus 1 e d power log of y minus when you put 1 over here you get 0 so I'm not writing this minus so integration for e d power x is e d power x from 1 to log of y plus putting the limits here I get log of y minus 1 so e d power log of y is nothing but simply y so this is equal to log of y minus 1 y minus putting the limits I get e the power log of y minus e but that minus will be take uh, that minus will take the sign as positive because minus is outside of this so this is e the power log of y minus minus plus so this is e and then this is plus log of y minus 1 So this is y into log of y minus y. This is again your y plus e plus log of y minus 1. So this is equal to from this and this taking log of y outside. So this is y plus 1 log of y minus this is 2y plus e minus 1. Now putting this value back to this integral so I get integral from 1 to e and now putting the value here so this will be log of y y plus 1 minus 2y plus e minus 1. Integrating this with respect to y now. So this is equal to to integrate this again I'm taking log of y to be the first function. So this is first function integration of second that will be y square by 2 plus y from 1 to e minus integral sign derivative of first function which is 1 over y into again integration of second function that is y square by 2 plus y dy and then integration of this that is minus 2y square by 2 from 1 to e and then integration of e minus 1 this is e minus 1 y from 1 to e Putting the value log of e is 1. So this is e square by 2 plus e. Minus log of 1 is 0. So no need to write. Minus this integration. Taking y uh, 1 outside that will be cancelled out. 
So this is y by 2 plus 1. And then here 2 and 2 will be cancelled out, putting the limits. This is e square minus minus will become plus 1. So this is minus e square plus 1. Again putting the limits over here. This will be e into e minus 1. And when you put 1 here, you get e minus 1. So this is plus e into e minus 1 minus e minus 1. Right. So this is e square by 2 plus e. And now integrating this, you get y square over 4 plus y from 1 to e minus e square plus 1 plus e square minus e minus e plus 1. So this e square will cancel out with this. This e will be cancelled out with this. <coughs> E square, e square by 2 minus, putting the value upper limit, e square by 4 plus e minus 1 over 4 minus 1. So this 1 and 1 will become 2 and I'm also having this negative e plus 2. And e square by 2 minus e square by 4 is e square by 4. This is negative e. And this is positive 5 by 4, negative e plus 2. So e square by 4. This is 5 by 4 plus 2. That will become 13 over 4. And this is minus 2e plus 13 over 4. If you take 1 over 4 outside, you will get e square minus 8e plus 13. This is your final answer. Thank you.